hi welcome to today's q a you guys it is the 23rd of may already so every tuesday we go live here on our youtube channel to answer questions fill you in on what's going on here in decker so welcome and thanks for joining as always if you have questions please put them in the chat and i'll be looking this way quite a bit as the chat comes in so that i can answer those questions and of course, um, if you're wondering about a specific area, you know, where you live, what's available, can you put your zip code or maybe your city and your state so that I can better answer your questions? And even better if you put the amount of experience you have. And then I can also answer how much it is, um, how much your rate of pay per mile is um, based off of your amount of experience. And of course, the minimum guarantee. So I don't know if you guys know this about us, but here at Decker, we do have, we have several benefits that you'll see on a regular basis. One of them being that minimum pay, which means it's a safety net. You know you'll make at least that much each and every week. And yes, you get paid every Friday, it's direct deposit, but you have the ability to make beyond that as well. So your rate of pay per mile and the miles that you run can exceed that minimum pay, definitely but you're looking for um, a minimum of $1,000 a week. So I mean, or I shouldn't say not looking for, but you can expect a minimum of $1,000 a week based off of, of course, your hiring area. So there are some areas that do pay a little bit more because you're gonna be running shorter runs. You're not as likely to run as many miles. Um, so you're not, gonna, not likely to exceed that minimum pay in some of those shorter hauls where you're home more often, home more weekly, and um, just you just overall. But those are guaranteeing $14.50 a week, say for the Midwest flatbed, um, is a good example. Where the over the road, yes, you have that ability and more likely to um, exceed that $1,000. And you're getting that longer length of haul, you're averaging you know, 24 to 2,600 miles a week in our over the road refrigerated. So, yeah, you're, you're definitely going to be making more more um, on a weekly basis than that $1,000. The $1,000 or any of that minimum pay that we have does require that you are available for dispatch at least five days out of the week. No load refusals, so no driver service failures. No late loads, and um, which obviously no, no late loads. No driver or no load refusals. There we go. So be available for dispatch. No late loads, um, no load refusals. Get your paperwork in on time, which is Sunday night at 10 p.m. And no CSA points or violations for the week and no preventable accidents for the week. So those six requirements, that's it. That's the minimum pay. That's, or minimum pay requirements, that's it. Um, however, like I said, your rate of pay per mile and the miles that you run can definitely exceed that minimum pay. Anywhere from 52 to 70 cents a mile for, you know, for our refrigerated division or 53 to 70 in our flatbed um, is the rate of pay. So Katie's here. Hello, hello. As always, if you're wondering about a specific position and you want to talk to a recruiter directly, you can call this number. That's right here. 877-2, or excuse me, 877-433-2537. 877-433-2537. Eight seven seven four Decker. You can also apply online at drivedecker.com, and they can answer your questions. Make sure that you get your application in um, and get you qualified. So, what's the process? The process is get your application in. Make sure that you meet those qualifications, which are no major moving violations in the last three years, no DOT recordable accidents in the last three years. Um, making sure that you have, a, if you have an, a ticket or a moving violation, that it is not an excessive one and just a minor one and no more than one in the last 12 months. So those are, those are the requirements. Accident-wise, if it's a preventable, DOT recordable, it would disqualify you for three years. Uh, if it was in a commercial vehicle, it would disqualify you for five. If you have a minor incident, such as a backing or something like that, then yes, we can work with it if it's uh, within the three-year period, but no more than, than two in a three-year period for those minor incidents. Um, again, if you have any questions and want to know about your situation specifically, the best thing to do is to get a hold of one of the recruiters, and that's 877-433-2537.
So once you get your application in, you know that you're qualified, got your application in. Um, Experience-wise, before I go to the next step, experience-wise, we do work directly with recent graduates. So there's two different levels that we have here. We have recent graduates who just graduated from school, have at least 160 hours from that school, and a valid Class A CDL. That's for our Midwest flatbed division. It's also available for our refrigerated divisions, whether they're um, home weekly, home every seven to 10 days, over the road, regional, all of our refrigerated divisions, and then again, our Midwest flatbed. Now for our, our over the road flatbed division, which is a little bit more of um, brokerage freight compared to our uh, more Midwestern, so those are very, those are high contracts where um, the over-the-road division, there's a lot more variety. And so we're going to require more experience for that position than we would for our Midwest because it could be a number of different things that you're going to be tarping and securing. And we want to know that you know how to tarp and secure. Yes, we can train in the Midwest flatbed division, but like I said, it's not as much of a variety and um, we know exactly what we can, what to expect from those customers. And now with our over the road flatbed, we are gonna require a very minimum of six months of flatbed experience. If you don't have that, a year of tractor trailer would be sufficient. And then we, at that point, would train you for our flatbed division. But ideally, at least six months of flatbed experience. Again, that's our over the road flatbed division. So if you are coming aboard to Decker, you either are a brand new student or you're an experienced driver. And when I'm saying experience, I mean you have at least, the very least of six months of experience, whether you're talking flatbed or refrigerator or whatever, um, that would be the very minimum uh, experience requirement to come aboard if you're not a recent graduate. Now for our recent graduates, we do have a repayment or a like a reimbursement, I should say, for schooling. So what if you are coming immediately to us, which means that you don't have your six months experience. So if you're coming directly to us from a school, then yes, we do have a reimbursement, which is up to six thousand dollars for for whatever the school is. Now that pays to you because you've already taken care of the financials. Uh, we don't have a contract with the company um, or with the school. We don't we don't have a contract with you. It is just paying you two hundred dollars a month up to the amount of six thousand or whatever that cost um, of that school is up to six thousand. And so $200 a month, that kicks in after 90 days to help offset some of those expenses that you had initially. So that's part of that. Um, and then with, with the training, you are paid $700 a week while you're with a trainer. And you're with a trainer for about two to three weeks. Now, again, this is all for the inexperienced driver, someone who just is a recent or who just recently graduated. For experienced drivers, meaning you have at least six months of experience, you're not going to go with a trainer. You're, there's no need. Yes, you will have a road test to make sure that you've got the skills and um, the skill level and ability driving um, that is required for, for Decker. Um, and again, that's a minimum of six months of experience. We also have the, before you are employed here at Decker, you'll have your um, pre-orientation online orientation and that will consist of a number of things usually it's a video followed by um, a number of questions uh, related to that video and a lot of it's dot uh, you've got a little bit of an introduction into decker uh, decker and our history here and then of course the dot information the basic dot information safety information run in the refrigerated units run in the flatbed division you know so different types of um, policies and procedures that we will come across when you're here at Decker. We'll go through all of that and you'll go through that again when you're in orientation. Not all of it will be repeated, but you'll have a review of that. That way you have an opportunity to ask questions if you have any, right? Okay, so there's that. We also have the online, besides the online orientation, we also have the, the your physical and your drug test done before you come to orientation. We know that time is important to you and that you're coming aboard looking to get started as soon as possible, but it's really important to make sure that you have the proper training and uh, 
proper training and know our policies and procedures well. Excuse me. So we want to make sure that we're very thorough in that process. And that's why we do the physical and the drug test ahead of time. Now, we do have a hair follicle that you do when, once you get here, but we like to do all of that ahead of time. And then, of course, the clearinghouse, which you guys are probably very familiar with. It's just um, for the SM, SMF, bleh, yeah, safer. <laughs> um, you just sign in. It's for the DOT. You go in, um, sign, sign up, and make sure that you are allowing access to your drug and alcohol results. That's what it is. So, Mike, how are you? Having great, but normal weather? Yes. All right. It's great, cooler than normal. It is a, It is cooler today than it has been. Um, we are looking at, it says it's almost 60. It's 58 degrees, but it is, it's beautiful. There is some overcast. How are you getting a lot of um, smoke still from Canada as well? We did. Yesterday we had a hail storm and a lot of wind during those, I would say maybe 10 minutes. It was beautiful though. Um, right after I mean, the smells. You know that spring storm that was just, it smells so good. But so we had that and it blew out that smoke where I could finally see some beautiful blue skies and then everything was wet from um, the rain and the hail. The hail was, you know, minimal hail maybe the size of my fingernail, but it wasn't too bad. So it was beautiful. No smoke from Canada and Michigan. I'll have to, oh yeah. Oh, it was horrible. We've had it. Um, I'd say we had it for like a, almost a week. Really, really thick. Actually, it might be longer than that, but really, really thick and getting to our heads. Dean, how are you? Hannah, Indiana, 80 degrees. See, you've got some warmth there. <laughs> well, thanks you guys for joining me. Uh, we're just talking a little bit about uh, the intro into Decker and what that process is. Um, so yes, if you have questions, 877-433-2537, and that'll go. Log it, graze it, watch it, burn it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> isn't that about right? That is true. So, um, and I don't even know, I think it's fields up in Canada that were on fire, I thought. But I haven't really looked into it. I just know that we have the smoke. <laughs> All right, so back to uh, the orientation process. Then once you're approved, then you come to orientation. We take care of your hotel and your meals while you're here. We take care of your transportation here, which is usually a rental car. Um, and then you are paid $1,000 for completing orientation. Um, as an experienced driver, you'll, you'll have about a three-day orientation. You'll get an intro into um, the company, of course, and run in all of our amenities in the truck. We have quite a few, by the way. Our trucks are equipped with APUs and inverters and refrigerators and microwaves and CB units. Um, TVs, so 22-inch televisions, they do come with Epic View Satellite TV, which is um, 100 plus channels. It does include HBO, Cinemax, Showtime. Um, also, they're double bunk trucks, so you've got a little bit of extra storage. I know you guys love that extra storage, <laughs> that extra bunk for storage. So we have that as well. Um, I think I mentioned the microwave and the refrigerator already. And the Transflow Geotab system that's in the truck, we have um, that tablet that you'll be able to take a picture with, get your paperwork on over to the payroll department. And of course, you're communicating back and forth between your driver manager that way as well and get up company updates and stuff from us in addition to that. Speaking of company updates, we have a new PDC. Well, upgraded PDC, how is that? In Fort Dodge, we have upgraded the Professional Driver Lounge. So now it has a couple of tables, or a couple of desks, I should say, in the back of the main room with computers on them. Uh, we have a table there, a new table. We have a couple, a uh, love seat and a couch. Of course, the big screen TV. We have four private rooms, is that right? Um, but the private rooms include a television, a recliner, a desk, a table, a lamp, you know, just to kind of get some things done that you might need to get done uh, while you're on some downtime. And of course, you can shut the door, have your privacy, just relax if you need to. But that is, um, that is available to you in our driver's lounge. And then the kitchenette as well has the, you know, some of those basics, microwave and, and whatnot for you um, to use 
also. So hopefully you enjoy it. We're pretty excited with the updates that we have there. Um, and that's in Fort Dodge. That's at the PDC in Fort Dodge. Now we also have a PDC in Missoula in Hammond, um, our terminals there. Um, at the Missoula terminal, again, we have the private rooms, we have the lounge, we have the um, laundry facility, and the laundry facility is free. I do want to mention that. Please be mindful. Please take care of things. Same with the showers and stuff, you guys. If we are running low on clean towels, like if you notice that, oh, we could use some more clean towels, let us know so that we can make sure that those are, are clean for the next person. Um, so that we can take care of that, right? Yes, we're looking out for each other. A little teamwork doesn't hurt. <laughs> Flatbed Trucker says, I've got nine years of over the road. Well, um, depending on where you live, if you're looking for flatbed, which I assume, your look, your pay rate would be about um, 67 cents a mile. 10 cents of that's per diem, so you're not taxed on 10 cents per mile. And um, depending on now over the road, if that's where you're, looking to stay, you're probably looking at about 2,300 miles or so a week, 23, 2,400 um, on average. But yeah, that's, that's what I'd say. And, and usually home every other weekend for the over the road. We do have home weekly options as well. Again, that all depends on where you live uh, with whatever is available. So feel free to put your zip code in and I'll plug her in and let you find out what we've got. Tim says, downtime can suck, but comfortable helps. Yes. How are you doing? Congratulations to Tim. He represented well at the Jamboree back, well now it's been like a week and a half <laughs> from the 11th through the 13th. And it looks like you'll be going to the Walcott Jamboree and maybe another one. Didn't you say the North Carolina one was a possibility too? I think it was North Carolina. Now I might be eating my words again. Um, but yes, he... Tim is an owner operator in the refrigerated division for us. He had his um, 389 Peterbilt looking sharp at the uh, Jamboree the other day. So, all right, but yes, the comforts are are great, and that's why all those we provide all of those amenities for you. Oh, speaking of amenities, there's also free Wi-Fi available through the tablet that we provide. So there's free Wi-Fi as well. So if you I mean, 100 plus channels is a lot of channels, but if you're wanting to stream like Netflix or Hulu or Disney Plus, yeah, I like Disney Plus. <laughs> if you're looking to stream any of that, then we have the free Wi-Fi as well. Or if you're a gamer, you know, I don't know. There's quite a few of you guys that like to game, so that's that's available to you as well. Um, all right. Where was I going with that? PDC. Oh, yes. Back to the Missoula PDC. We have now added cars or availability to our cars on the weekend. That's huge. <laughs> We've had some requests, but trying to get the logistics of it all, um, the Missoula in-house, I mean, of course, the PDC is available to our drivers 24-7. However, the um, office staff isn't there on the weekends. We do have 24-7 um, night ops available out of Fort Dodge that will answer your calls, you know, whenever. However, they're, the, your driver manager, um, the shop, they're not there always over the weekend in Missoula. So when you needed a car when you were there, you would have to get a hold of Jason and hopefully he was available to, to get you the car. If not you didn't have access to those vehicles that we have made available in the past. So yes, if you're in Missoula during during the week and during business hours, then absolutely you had access to a car, but we needed to find a way to give you access, you know? So now we have it. Now we have the lockbox with the keys and um, all of the details. You just need to get a hold of our night ops. Call night ops. Like I said, they're available 24 seven. And as long as there is a car available to you, like there's a car available, then we will get that available to you um, in Missoula or Fort Dodge or Des Moines. Now, there will be a lockbox. There will be availability to a cars after hours in Bessemer soon, but not it's not yet. But we're working on that process for you as well. So huge, huge win there. Awesome, awesome. I know it was a request. We're 
putting the steps together to make that work for you guys. So thank you guys for communicating and thanks for the patience too. We really appreciate that too. <laughs> um, Mike says, I was wondering if the truck was in the shop. I just fixed up the air governor, replaced an oil hub and replaced a tire on my Freightliner day cab. Woo. Yeah, you were waiting and waiting and replacing, huh? <laughs> Good. Good. Get them done. Get them ready for the season. So, um, yeah, so we've got quite a bit of opportunities for you there. Speaking of opportunities, coming up on Friday, we have in Fort Dodge, there will be a barbecue. So if you're going to be on in Fort Dodge between 11 and 2 on Friday, make sure you stop in because the shop is putting on a summer social. There'll be some games. They'll have the cookout. I mean, we love food, <laughs> right? Don't tell me you don't. Uh, so we're going to have burgers and brats. There'll be uh, some salad, like pasta salad and veggies and chips and dip and lemonade. And that'll be available to you at Fort Dodge. The shop is putting it on, so it's the east side of the tractor trailer shop. Make sure you stop by for all of our Decker um, employees, both, you know, flatbed, refrigerated, dry van, whatever. Make sure you get in there, go and say hi. There'll be some games too. Maybe you get to challenge your driver manager or, you know, somebody in the shop to a game of, I'm, I'm not sure what all games they have. I mean, there's got to be cornhole, right? Cornhole's everywhere anymore. But anyways, that's this Friday, the 26th through, well, the 26th from 11 to 2. So make sure that you stop by. And also a reminder, speaking of um, celebrations, that brings to point the Monday, Monday is Memorial Day, um, and we will be closed on Memorial Day in observance, of course, but that being said, we'll still have our night ops available to you. You have the 24-7 maintenance support available to you as well. Um, I do want to make sure that you know that the truck and trailer shop will close at noon on Saturday the 27th, it'll close at noon. They'll open back up at 7 a.m. on Tuesday. Monday again being Memorial Day. The inspection bay and the wash bay in Fort Dodge, those will close at 11.30 on Friday night. And again, open up at 7 a.m. on, on Tuesday. Um, the prep shop, the body shop, the decal shop, those will all call, close at 5 p.m. on Friday and open back up at 7 a.m. on Tuesday. The Des Moines, Shop will close at 4.30 on Friday and open back up at 7 a.m. on Tuesday. The Bessemer shop, or Bess yeah, Bessemer shop will close at 6 p.m. on Sunday. Yes, always impressive. So 6 p.m. on Sunday and open back up on Tuesday at 7 a.m. Hammond, Minneapolis, and Missoula will all close at 5.30 on Friday and open back up at 7 a.m. Um, Missoula will open back up at 6 a.m. Making sure Liam is there bright and early, as always. He's usually there like at 4, so <laughs> he will be there. Um, yeah, so what else we have? I do all my repair work in my shop, Mike says. Where? There you go. Um, SCR code and warranty work, Tim says. That's where his is right now. Getting things done. Awesome. Okay, speaking of, uh, we know that obviously we're seeing some changes within the industry again. It, you know, it happens. We get it. We adjust. You know, once you adjust and you move on and you, you keep plugging away. So, um, and Decker's done well at that for the last 91 years, right? I got to remember how many years now. Um, going on 92 years. So, um, that being said, we are continuing to do so. A little, a little bit of industry updates and how that's affecting affecting Decker and how we will adjust. If you want some details on that, check out this week's podcast. I know you guys have been waiting for it. You absolutely love it. But please make sure that you go to Inside the Triangle podcast. You can find it on Google. You can find it on Spotify. Um, you can go directly to it on our Anchor channel. So yes, Inside the Triangle podcast where Darren Ladley one of our professional drivers here at Decker, and also one of our perfect score earners for both our scorecard and our safety bonus. Wait, 
I didn't even double check. Did he make the safety bonus? Does anybody know? <laughs> I didn't check. I should probably double check to see if he did. Um, I would assume so since he coached on it for so long, but you know, you don't, you don't assume. I'm going to go look. Hang on. I bet that I do know that he has a perfect score on the um, scorecard. I don't see him on this list. I'm calling him out. Ouch. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, Darren Ladley is interviewing Stephen Hatton, and Stephen is the director of, or the VP, I should say, VP of fleet operations out of the Missoula, Montana area, and um, and over all of our, our fleet operations. So Stephen Hatton was getting the, or giving Darren the 411 on, and all the details, as well as Katie, um, during the podcast. So some industry updates, please check that out, you guys. It's if you have questions or ideas for our podcast, please send it on over to us at podcast at deckermail.com. We really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, what else? What else is new going on? Oh, Montana. Speaking of um, some updates, Laurel Billings, that, that, uh, that scale, that exit, the I-90 exit 439, that is closed. I don't know if you guys knew that. It's closed in both directions from all throughout the summer and into fall. So hopefully they are on it, working on it, and getting it going as soon as possible. But just so you know, if you're going through I-90 in Montana, they did reach out to us and they said that um, this was done as a safety precaution to reduce the amount of merging traffic as an effort to reduce the number of accidents. The Montana... Um, DOT will be utilizing jump scales around Billings and Laurel and will also have some enforcement on the frontage road. So be well aware of that. Do not inadvertently bypass any of these jump scales. Please make sure that you make it into them and otherwise it could end up in a citation or CSA points and you just you just don't want any of those silly points, right? So make sure that you're taking care of that. If you guys have questions, please reach out to us or put it in the chat and we'll answer them as they come in as well. But um, yeah, those are just a few updates that I wanted to make sure that we were out there um, getting those getting those closed. Also, the Fontana Yard, I gotta remember, gotta remember where we're going here. Um, the Fontana Yard is relocating. Um, so we currently have it at um, Pyrite, the Pyrite Yard, but we are relocating to the Fontana Speedway and we are currently making that move. We're currently in the process of it. So make sure that when you are dropping equipment, that you are dropping it at the right location. Please make sure, uh, reach out to your driver manager, reach out to us if you have any questions, but please don't accidentally drop the equipment at the wrong site. That's very, very important. Uh, we want to make sure that we're putting in the right location so that we're not losing it, right? <laughs> exactly. So we have that. All right, let's talk about some of the benefits of being here at Decker. We have, I mentioned our, um, well, I didn't mention our, our sign-on bonus, but our experienced drivers do qualify for a sign-on bonus. So give us a holler. Let us know if you want more details on that. But we do have our monthly bonuses of our scorecard and our safety bonus. Now this is pretty cool because our safety bonus is based off of a number of things. That being mostly, well, with the safety bonus, you have to have a score of 20 or below on our Linux system. So if you've got a 20 or below, then you would qualify for that safety bonus, which is a penny per mile on all the miles that you completed for that month, which that month being April, we're paying out everything April, you should have gotten that actually. Um, yesterday. Um, for those of you who had a perfect score, then of course you've seen your name on our Facebook page as well because we had to do a few shout outs for all of those who had the perfect scores in the um, on the scorecard. I'm just finding that actually. So here, here are perfect scores. Um, not on the scorecard, but on the, you'll see the scorecard to the left, but the majority of these names are all safety bonuses. Yes, 
These are perfect safety bonus winners. That means they get a penny per mile. Um, and of course the recognition, but it's great because it places you for a chance to win the driver of the month, which driver of the month then places you for driver of the year onto an opportunity at the grand champion, which is $15,000 and uh, you know, nothing to scoff at. So let's, let's talk about that safety bonus. You get that 20, 20 points or below, um, a perfect score, of course, being a zero, and you'll get that penny per mile on all the miles you completed. Now then, there's also a monthly scorecard bonus. Now this is based off of performance and the number of things that you'll be um, graded on. <laughs> the criteria that goes into account is the, the um, idle time, your fuel compliance, um, on-time deliveries, miles, preventable accidents, incidents, CSA violations, um, any driver claims. So those are the seven criteria that will go into account for our company drivers for that scorecard. Now you have an opportunity to make another four cents a mile. So between the scorecard and the safety bonus, then you have a total of five cents that you can earn on all the miles that you, um, an additional five cents that you can earn on all the miles that you ran and completed for the month of April. Now, as an owner operator or lease purchase driver, you have the opportunity to make an extra three cents a mile because the idle time and the fuel compliance don't factor into your criteria. However, whether you do well on the idle time or fuel compliance will make a di big difference in your pocketbook anyway, because you know, that's overhead, right? <laughs> as an owner operator, lease purchase, you know that well. So yes, another four cents a mile, total of five cents a mile, and the perfect score for an owner, or for a, the scorecard, there we go, perfect score for the scorecard is a thousand points, a thousand points. So we, we love to see those. Um, let's actually, if we just kind of address, let me see if I've got this one more time. Here are our perfect scorecard winners. Steven Allager, Robert Anderson, Tyler Ash, David Bodel, Andre, or Andre Buckner, Curtis Carson Jr., Curtis Carson Sr., Lydia Dietrich, Lauren Durham, Christopher Eppins, Antonio Fernandez, Richard Hayes, Daniel Jimerson, Darren Ladley, Dustin Likens, Leonard Mappy, uh, Jeremy Moritz, Greg Narcisco, um, Todd Overson, Jerry Patterson, Eugene Pearson, Cheyenne Reif, David Rolstead, Dean Sosek, Rita Tyler, and Christopher Zwick. Now those are our company drivers, but we also have owner operators, lease purchase drivers who earned the perfect scorecard. Again, a thousand points. Jerry Arthur, Anthony Clayton, Jonah Click, Gerlins Colliman, uh, Levi Kucher, Charles Gann, John Hodges, Stephen Kelly, Charles McCord, Daniel Newby, Joseph Paris, and Sean Swallows. So congratulations to each of those who earned the perfect score. Now there are quite a few others who um, also earned the scorecard. We actually had, just because you had a perfect score doesn't, or didn't have a perfect score, doesn't mean that you don't earn the scorecard. We actually had 181 drivers um, earn our scorecard bonus. So for, on an average of $156, a bonus of an additional $156 for the month, which is over $28,000 that was paid out just for that scorecard bonus to our company drivers. An extra $8,500 was paid out to our owner operator lease purchase drivers who averaged about $185 um, for as a bonus. So we had 46 owner operators lease purchase that, that um, earned that. Overall, we paid out $66,964 63 cents for the month of April in between the scorecard and the safety bonus. $24,575 went to 321 drivers it, for the safety bonus, an average of $76. Um, for the owner operator's lease purchase, an average of $82 with over $5,500 paid out um, in total for the month. So yeah, we had, we definitely have some guys getting some bragging rights there. <laughs> guys and gals for that matter. Um, so congratulations to each one of you. So those prep them 
So basically how this works is you have, you have obviously the opportunity to get the scorecard and the safety bonus each month. If you do well on the scorecard and the safety bonus, and then of course, you know, goes the next step, then you go into basically a ballot. You, you earn the opportunity for driver of the month. But there are more steps to that. The driver of the month is voted on by a number of different departments, um, the operations department, the safety department, the fuel department, the training department, I mean, oh, all of it, payroll, all of them will vote on the winners for the driver of the month. The driver of the month is then chosen, and this, before I go into the next step, um, the drivers of the month for April uh, for our Midwest Refrigerated and Van Division, Christopher Eppens is our winner. Congratulations. Now that is a $100 Walmart gift card plus a $50 gift card to our Decker store so you can get some Decker swag. Swag. <laughs> our Midwest Flatbed winner, Cheyenne Reif. So congratulations to Cheyenne as well. Our West Refrigerated Van Division, Robert Anderson. So congratulations to Robert. Um, he was our winner there. And our Southern Flatbed Division, David Rulstead. David Rulstead, congratulations as well. And our owner-operator, Lease Purchase winner, Charles McCord. Congratulations, Charles. So Robert, David, Charles, Cheyenne, and Christopher all won Driver of the Month for their divisions. And um, they will all be getting a $100 Visa gift or a $100 Walmart gift card, as well as a gift card to um, the Decker store. Now, there are runner-ups as well, so if you're really close to winning, or maybe you've already won for the year, because you can only win Driver of the Month one time within the 12-month calendar year. So if you've won, if you would have won otherwise, possibly, <laughs> then you'd be runner-up as well. Andre Buckner received the runner-up, as well as Greg Narcisco, and Lauren Durham as well. And Michael Mathis, also a runner-up. So congratulations to each one of those runner-ups. You also get a gift card from Walmart and a gift from the Decker store. So another winning. Now, like I said, the driver of the month, that places you for driver of the year. So we take the driver of the, of the month for all 12 months. We take those winners and then we reevaluate their numbers again and take them to just an even more in-depth level on whether or not they would qualify for the driver of the year and then are voted on in all of that process. At that point, the driver of the year will be chosen. Now, this is usually done within the first quarter of the year following when you ran it. So, and then they are they announced, we announce the names. You get a $3,000 bonus uh, for winning driver of the month. And of those, or excuse me, $3,000 bonus for winning driver of the year. And of those driver of the year winners, we choose our grand champion, which is normally um, announced sometime in March or April and um, of the year following when you ran it. And so March or April, we do a big old ceremony and recognize the grand champion for a chance at $15,000. So yes. And of course, the decals to do the bragging for the grand champion position, right? <laughs> Congratulations to Tom Melton for our 2022 winner. Um, look forward to seeing who 2023 will be. Yeah. Um, so, yes, that's, that's just kind of a breakdown of all that. Art, how are you? I want to tell you that I won't be at the Truck Driving Championships this year. Um, Art will be representing in Montana. I got to tell you that. Um, so I miss out. I was hoping to get to see you. But um, so those truck driving championships will be held on the 9th and 10th in Helena for the Montana. And Iowa will be the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd, I think. I got to cheat. I got to look on my calendar. My Decker calendar. Um, 21st, 22nd, and 23rd of June. Yes, that's going to be in Iowa. Or that's the Iowa Truck Championships. So we'll have those as well. So we're looking for some more uh, more wins, right? <laughs> those are fun. The Truck Championships are held usually in the spring. Or yeah, spring to um, throughout the summer um, with the 50 states. And they, 
the grand champion will then go to um, nationals. So the champion of that division. So last year we had uh, Lyle Turville and uh, Dean Filmer represent Decker at nationals, which is pretty cool. They improved. I know. I, I was bummed. But I get it. I get it. <laughs> but you will still have fun. And you can torment Jason as much as possible for me. <laughs> uh, Art was our 20... When did we start the Grand Champion? Was it 2016 or 2018? That's what I always forget. I'm always confused on which is which. Um, so, and he won a brand new Harley Davidson. That was the first year that we did the Grand Champion Awards. Yeah. And Art took that. <laughs> he took that uh, title and, yeah, and continues to, continues to uh, represent well. So, cool, cool. All right. So I'm glad to see Art. You never, 2016. Okay. I was like, was it 2018 or 2016? Um, so it was the 2016. I get it. So Dean, were you 20, were you 2018 or 2019? So Dean Sosek, who's also on here, um, was also one of our Driver of the Year's Grand Champion. So, yeah. Hey, we, we've got some bragging rights here. <laughs> All right. What else? Um, Benefits-wise. Let's talk about benefits. Our benefits um, do start after 60 days, so that has jumped up a little bit sooner than it was before. Um, so we bumped that up to 60 days which include medical, dental, vision. We have a $0 generic available. We have um, a 50% match on the 401k as well. We have life insurance, um, short-term, long-term disability. Um, yeah, quite a bit of benefits available to you. And there's there's more, you know, that I'm probably not mentioning that are out there. Um, speaking of more, our vacation has also bumped up. So you'll be able to access the vacation at your six-month anniversary. So instead of waiting a full year for a week, you'll be able to access a week at six months, and then you'll have another week at one year. You'll have two weeks available to you at three years, and three weeks available to you at seven. And of course, on an annual basis, you'll recoup your vacation. It'll just continue to add that way. So congratulations. Um, yeah, so that, that will be available to you. Um, and then, of course, I mentioned a lot of those bonuses that we have as well um, for, for perks and benefits. Then we have our EAP program, which to me is really important because the EAP program is, it, it helps, with, uh, helps with a lot of things. And there's quite a bit of resources available to it. One of the big ones to me is um, the counseling that's available. And there's, there's also um, the month of May is mental health awareness. And I think just getting rid of that stigma that is around mental health and um, just asking questions, asking for help, you know, getting informed, it's, you know, in creating that awareness and having the EAP program available to all of our employees and their, their families, extended families, is uh, one way to help end, end that stigma and, and make it okay to talk about. So. I do want to throw the number out there in case anybody is, is interested in reaching out, just finding out more about it. You can call 855-581-8111 or you can text 855-895-8398. So that's also available to you as well if you'd like to. Troy, how are you? 20 plus years, 77388. Let me see where you're at. Seven seven three eight eight. Hmm. Let me find this. Seven seven three eight eight. Why is that not coming up? Is that Spring, Texas? All right, so I've got some refrigerated and I've got some flatbed available to you. Yeah, so refrigerated, 
Yes, Texas. <laughs> um, refrigerated, I can get you home about every seven to 10 days. And in that seven to 10 days, you pretty much run everything east of Denver. So a lot of up and down the Midwest. Um, and then we have our over the road refrigerated, which is coast to coast. You'd be going out west. We've got freight in um, Washington and Idaho and Utah and Northern Oregon and um, some that goes into California and Arizona, Montana, of course. So we've got the over the road refrigerated as well. That one you're looking about two to three weeks out at a time. And with the flatbed division, we can get you home every other weekend. And in both cases, you have a minimum pay of $1,000 a week. So that's like your safety net. And with 20 years of experience, you're looking in either division, you're looking at 70 cents a mile. 10 cents of that is per diem, so you're not taxed on it. And like I said earlier, if you were here earlier, I mentioned that you have those additional bonuses, which are paying out this week. Um, the bonus, monthly bonuses are our scorecard and our safety, which can add an extra five cents per mile. So east of Denver, um, that's about seven to 10 days out at a time. Um, you'll have a day and a half home time. Uh, when, when you go home, you'll bring the truck home with you on your home time. So that'll be available in the Spring, Texas area. So very cool. And that's refrigerated. That's refrigerated. Flatbed, it's home. We can currently get you home um, every other weekend into the Denver or into the Spring, Texas area. So yeah, hopefully that answers your questions. And that one is that's home for a reset um, every other weekend, 70 cents a mile. A lot of, with when it comes to the flatbed, you're going to see a lot of the Midwest as well. Pretty much all of our divisions, you're going to see a lot of Midwest. But a lot of Midwest and a lot of the Southeast. So um, again, east of Texas, or east of Denver for the most part. So, yeah. Um, equipment. I did mention all of the amenities, but I don't remember if I mentioned the equipment. It's mostly the 579 Peterbilts. We have some um, 860, 780 Volvos and a few Freightliner Cascadia Evolutions. What's available is probably the 579 Peterbilts. But yeah, when, when you talk to the recruiting department, actually this number, 877-433-2537, it's 877-4-DECKER. You can get a hold of the recruiters and and talk to them directly. They'll be able to kind of feed you a little bit more specifics um, based out of, off of what's available and, and when we can start, you know, and all that good stuff. Orientation does pay $1,000 for a three-day orientation for someone with all of your experience. Um, and then you can get details on the sign-on bonus and stuff from them as well. Yeah. I uh, don't know how I scored an 800 on the scorecard for April. I was there two days, <laughs> but I'll take it. Hey, guy, that's awesome. So 800, I can tell you that you didn't get the miles, <laughs> but but your idle time, your fuel compliance, awesome. Uh, a whole two days of, of April, huh? <laughs> uh, that's awesome. You Like Katie said, you must have done all the right things in those two days. Congrats. <laughs> uh, whatever you did, you did right. But that's good. 850 and above does get... Um, does get anywhere from a penny to four cents more per mile for our company drivers, uh, for those of you wondering. Yep, different levels, the different levels of it. But. <laughs> all right. All right, you guys. Well, I have held you hostage, and I do appreciate you guys taking the time um, to come aboard and, and visit with me here. If you have questions, then, like I said, always put them in the chat. I'm, I still read the chat after it's all done. Um, yep, you figured right. Um, so after the live, which will be ending here shortly, um, I will still be answering questions for anybody that's watching the replays. So feel free to ask the questions there. You can always get a hold of us, either myself or one of the recruiters at 877-4-DECKER, 877-433-2537. Um, or apply online at drivedecker.com. So you're very welcome. I hope you guys have a safe, beautiful rest of your day throughout the week, I should say. Um, take care, and uh, Tim, I hope you get that truck going a little faster than you had hoped. <laughs> All right, you guys, take care. Thank you so much. And don't forget, if you're in on Friday, if you're in Fort Dodge, stop in for a meal. Yeah, Duran is barbecuing. 
everybody wants to have a little bit